How often have you felt like a puzzle piece that didn't fit in the right place? Your edges just don't align with the world around you, no matter how hard you try. I remember a moment when I was in the middle of a crowded area, and everyone was moving at the same time, as if they were following a rhythm I couldn't hear. It was like seeing a dance that I didn't know how to do. In the quiet whispers of my thoughts, and the subtle beats of my heart that seemed to drum a different rhythm, I realized I was different. It wasn't in a flashy or obvious way. It's not just my story. It could be yours too. It's the story of many people who don't feel like they fit in with the society they live in, which often seems to be going in the wrong direction and focusing on the wrong values and goals. Today we're going to dive into an important and deep exploration. In a society that frequently feels weak or lost, how can you use your unique strength to be strong? How can you stay strong when the currents around you are always trying to push you in the wrong direction? It's not just about fitting in or standing out. It's about finding your inner power, the kind of power that changes societal norms on your terms rather than just defying them. Let's delve into the core issue that many of us face in today's world after setting the stage for our journey into self-empowerment. Society often looks like a big machine, with every part designed to fit perfectly and every gear turning at the same time. Do you feel like you're not a part of this machine? What if the values and behaviors it encourages don't feel like your true self? Think of society as a big puzzle, with each piece cut to fit a certain spot, but you feel like a round peg is being squished into a square hole. Your edges never align with the shapes that are already there, no matter how hard you try. This difference isn't just awkward. It's a fundamental misalignment between your personal values and the rules that society follows. The societal stream flows in one direction, carrying ideals and expectations about success, happiness, and identity. This feeling of misalignment is like swimming against a powerful current. Your intuition, or inner compass, tells you to go in a different direction. It's a constant struggle, a feeling of being out of place, as though you're living in a script that was written for someone else. You can't just revel or be different for the sake of it. It's a deep-seated feeling that the way society sells a successful life doesn't always match up with the values and principles that give your life meaning. The important question that this misalignment raises is how to find your power when you feel like you don't belong in the world. In a world that seems to be against your beliefs and values, how do you stay strong? Remember that understanding this fundamental disconnect is the first step in the journey to finding your power in a weak society as we go through this, let's delve more deeply into the personal aspect of this struggle now. Consider a time in your life when you felt like an outcast among your peers. For me, it was at a business event. Everyone around me was very excited about the newest changes in business and the stock market. But there I was, feeling like I was just watching a show I didn't want to see. I smiled and nodded to fit in. But on the inside, I felt a deep disconnection. There was a lot of emotional turmoil, not just with the situation, but also with myself for not fitting in, I felt tired. There was confusion, and people asked me if there was something wrong with me because I wasn't as excited as everyone else. Additionally, there was a strong urge to fit in, to be a part of the group, and not stand out. Maybe you felt the same way when you were with family or friends, and the talk and values around you seemed strange. It could have been about money, making the right decisions in life, or just having general ideas about life that didn't match your core beliefs. This feeling of powerlessness and disconnection, however, is not the end of the story. Rather, it marks a turning point. Inner strength is what gives you real power that lasts. Aligning with your true self is more important than fitting in with what society expects of you. It's about realizing that the strength you're looking for is inside you, waiting to be recognized and let out. The moment you change your point of view, this change starts. You stop looking for outside approval of your choices and worth and start building your inner strength. Someone else's approval starts to matter less to you than your own. Understanding that fitting in isn't the goal is key. Being yourself is. Now that we've talked about the personal impact of feeling disconnected from societal norms, let's delve into the educational component of our journey. 
feel power understanding. The ability to act in accordance with one's values and beliefs despite external pressures is known as personal power. It is an internal reservoir of self-confidence, self-awareness. It's very different from societal power, which depends on approval from others, authority, and general status. Personal power is not about being in charge, but about being able to influence and support others. There are many people in history and philosophy who represent personal power. Athenian society didn't agree with Socrates, but he stood firm in his beliefs. Rosa Parks' refusal to give up her seat was an act of personal power that started a movement. These people didn't get their power from titles or societal approval. It came from a strong belief in their values and beliefs. Once you know what personal power is, let's talk about how to build it up in your own life. Changes in Mindset Accept the idea that your worth comes from within, not from society. Understand that fitting in isn't the goal. Living your true self is. Habits you do every day. Be more self-aware by meditating or practicing mindfulness. You should make time to think about yourself and write down your thoughts and experiences in a journal. Create a group of people who will support and respect your uniqueness. Practice things that help you remember your beliefs and values. Learn to say no to things that go against your values by standing by your convictions. Actively state your beliefs and values in a respectful and sure way by practicing assertiveness. Being self-aware and being real are the foundations of personal power. It takes guts to stick to your convictions, even when they are in opposition to popular opinion. Remember that aligning with your true self is more important than defiance for the sake of defiance. I want to encourage each of you to embrace your uniqueness right now. You shouldn't just put up with the things that make you unique. They're gifts that should be cherished. Your personal power comes from them. Remember that in a society that often feels lost or confused, your uniqueness is not just a sign of hope, it is a demonstration of the strength of the human spirit. Making a space for your true self to thrive is part of your journey to personal power not just finding your place in the world. Friedrich Nietzsche said, the individual has always had to struggle to keep from being overwhelmed by the tribe. In conclusion, I leave you with this thought. You will feel lonely and scared a lot of the time if you do it, but it's okay to pay any price for the privilege of owning oneself. The highest expression of owning oneself is your journey to personal power. This is the end of the video. We hope you learn much from this video. Don't forget to share your thoughts as comment section and make sure you subscribe channel and press the bell icon then you get notification for every new video. Thank you.